Greetings historians, welcome to Lore of the Dragon. Today's video is not going to be so much about the lore of something, but rather something relating to it. Something that could possibly even expand upon it. This feature was something that was shown on the Gamescom livestream during Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time's presentation. Now for a brief moment, I'll actually be talking about Crash rather than Spyro, but I promise you this is important to the topic of today. There wasn't too much information given about the game, but what information there was might have proven interesting to those who actually enjoy the lore of the Bandicoot. I am referring to what are called flashback missions. A new feature the developers, Toys R Bob, have implemented into the new Crash Bandicoot game. To sum these levels up, flashback levels allow you to play during the events before the first Crash Bandicoot game. You would play through what is believed to be the test chamber created by one of the main villains of Crash Bandicoot, Dr. Neo Cortex. And these levels serve the purpose of giving insight into the time just before Crash Bandicoot 1, showing how Crash and his sister Coco Bandicoot were put through some pretty challenging trials before their eventual escape. To gain access to these levels, you'll need to gather what are called flashback tapes, which are scattered across the various levels of the game. However, if you die once, you'll not be able to pick up the tape on that run. Now, if you want to know more, I would suggest actually going over to the actual Gamescom livestream or any of the Crash Bandicoot content creators as they've pretty much covered every aspect of this topic. Anyway, this brings us to what I want to talk about. For Spyro, I think something like this actually could be implemented. And quite honestly, I wish for it to be implemented. At least, if possible. If Toys R Bob once again heads Spyro or is involved with the next Spyro game, there's a possibility that we could actually get Spyro flashback levels. Now, forewarning, this isn't something that I came up with necessarily. Multiple people I've talked to have brought up the thought and interest in something like this. But here I wanted to not only bring up the topic in a video, but speculate how it could actually work. I will say that there might be a few things added from the games outside the Reignite trilogy to help with the speculation. But in the end, this is really just for the fun of it. Like always, if after this video you have an idea of your own, feel free to leave it in the comments section. So for how I think flashback levels could be implemented into Spyro, first off, a given would be that these flashback tapes would be vastly different in Spyro, at least in visual appearance. In my opinion, something like a scroll could actually fit very well in the world of Spyro. Now, how these scrolls might be found, I imagine that it would be something rather similar to how they are in Crash, perhaps being scattered around wherever the new game takes place. In this land you explore, maybe ancient ruins of days gone past would harbor these scrolls, telling you the stories of those who once inhabited them. Or if the game takes you back to the Dragon Realms, which might not be too likely, but we'll see, the possibility is there that the developers could fill in the blanks when it comes to the Dragon Realms story. Maybe even the story of Spyro and Sparks could be clarified. For those who might not remember, the dragon known as Oswin in Dark Hollow seems to be a librarian of sorts or at least a bookkeeper of some kind. If you were to go to him, he could maybe give you a task, and once that's completed, you could collect a scroll. Perhaps even these scrolls could unlock secret areas once you collected them. And this leads me into how the scrolls would differ from the flashback tapes. The scrolls, unlike their counterparts, could be more like tales. Puzzles for the player to figure out using what words were used. Or, alternatively, the scrolls could act more like the flashback levels, the Spyro going into an all new environment separate from the main story. Now as of current, there isn't anything that would allow you to play through past events. And you can't exactly go the route of tapes, as that would be already done in Crash 4. And both wouldn't fit the theme or technology of the dragons. So to get over this hurdle, I'm going to bring over something that I brought up in the Chronicler video. Which is to simply bring the Chronicler, or the idea of the Chronicler, back into the Spyro universe. However, this doesn't exactly go into the whole flashback aspect. To sum what I said in that video up, the Chronicler could come back as a fortune teller from a long line of Chroniclers, essentially a family lineage. However, the descendants of this family were banished from Dragon Oak lands after they failed to predict the banishment. And the very brief reason they're actually brought back is because there's some sort of threat in the Dragon Realms, or to the Dragon Realms. Something to do with an ancient enemy that they possibly only know of, and know how to defeat. They, like the Legend of Spyro Chronicler, would be able to harness the power of time. Maybe this could be an introduction to the time element. Anyway, moving on from that, 
This is an idea inspired by something a friend of mine mentioned for an upcoming video, but it applies here pretty well. Maybe you could go to the Chroniclers once you have found a scroll, and they could, through the power of the time element, allow you to travel to those times and locations. And like with gathering scrolls from Oswin, you could get scrolls from the Chronicler after going through a task of some kind, and then play through the events of the scroll through the power of the time element. Now, real quick note about the fact that if you die once in Crash Bandicoot, you won't be able to get these flashback tapes without actually reloading the level. I imagine in Spyro that might also be different. As with Spyro, it's a bit more of a common experience. So I imagine that even if you did die during the level, you might not actually have to reload the level to actually get this scroll. Other than that, there isn't really much to say on this topic, as we don't really know any information of the new game. But either way, we'll have to wait and see, and see what the devs do with the next game. And my hope is that in some way, they will add something like flashback tapes into the next Spyro game. But anyway, that's actually going to be it for me. If you want to talk about your thoughts, leave them down in the comments section. If you want updates on videos, you can actually go and follow me over on Twitter. Link will be down in the description. Either way, if you want to stick around to the channel, feel free to, and I'll see you all in the next lore video. Stay safe, historians.